Hi. Hello. How are you? Great, thanks. Good. Sorry, my Wi-Fi was just being rude. Okay. That's all right. Um, nice that just got it worse now. Let's have a little look at. Um, do you have your racket with you, Mr. Adrian? Yeah. What have, you been, what have you been doing this week, um, mm. exercise-wise? So on Monday, I did swimming and then football. On Tuesday, I did football. Oh, no, also on Monday, swimming, football, and then workout with Andy in my garden. Andy's my squash coach. Nice. Tuesday, also workout, and then in school, football. Wednesday, school football workout with Andy. Thursday, just workout with Andy. And today, nothing yet. Cool. That sounds very active, mate. Yep. I'm just checking um, because Eliza <clears throat> can't make it this evening. Um, oh. so I'm just gonna it see. may just be me. It might, it might be. Oh, let's it just be me. That'll be funny. <sighs> it would be. Let's have a look. Tap. See, Louis. See, Louis hardly ever comes. See, there's a chance he might come. Yeah. Um, just looking on the register. In which case, it might just be yeah. the two of us. In which case, it could just be funny. a battle of a pop quiz uh, where, well, lots of questions. <laughs> yeah. Um, have you been watching any of the black ball squash? Mm, no, I haven't heard of it. What is it? Is it? It's, it's one of the professional squash tournaments that's happening at the moment. Oh, cool. It's, Where it's is the, it? It's the black ball. Let's see, let's see if I can pull up some information about it and show you here. Nice. Because I think actually they, uh, they're playing some matches live at the moment. Oh. Um, awesome. It's over in Egypt. Yeah. This particular tournament. So it is the it's the Black Ball Open, is what it's called. The ladies had their final yesterday. Nice. Um, Who won? Uh, El Shabini. Is she Egyptian? Yeah. I'm just trying to find. Because I've got, here we go, one second, Euro, because if it is just you and me, what yeah. could be good, fun, as well as obviously doing, having a good workout, is actually yeah. watching some live PSA squash at the same time as it's happening, because I could stream it to you straight away, because let me just, let me see if I can pick it up now. Um, uh, where's, where's squash? There it is. Here we go. Well, that's a replay. What about live? Latest. Is this live? I think it is. Wait a second. So it's 6.05 now, which means, all right, schedule one second. Should be all on here. Let's let's look at some stuff from earlier. One second. It's fine if it doesn't work. It will work. It's just a yeah. question of which, which bits you want to look at. Do you have a favorite player, Adrian? Mm, probably oh, round four. I think. Oh, is Louis here? Louis here. Yeah. Because yeah. I I don't know. He's the only player I kind of know something about i once went to an exhibition match and there were like 15 people there okay so yeah hi hi louis hi louis you're right when you say 15 people there do you mean there were only 15 people there or there were 15 players there i think only 15 people there maybe oh, there are like 20 or something but so that's, yeah. that's that's quite cool isn't it quite intimate yeah 
special. Mm, I had, like I was like sitting in front of the back wall. And he's like, really, right. <laughs> um, Louis, is your connection yeah. working, mate? Yeah. It, uh, we, I think that's a no, isn't it? Bandwidth, Louis Manuera's network bandwidth is low it says on and off a little bit okay no worries um so i think adrian i think we're still i think i want to show you some stuff anyway i'll just did flick I, through and find it uh, huh did i get my racket from my room yeah sure sure but um i'll find that i'll find a good couple of clips which from earlier today in this tournament to show you guys oh, yeah. um which would be cool uh, Louis, do you want to get warmed up, mate? Grab your racket and a ball. We'll start hitting with a few forehands, a few backhands, and we'll get started in a second, okay? All right, mate. Hi. Hello. I think my Wi-Fi may have died. I can't see any of you. Um, no. Well, now I can. Louis, Louis just turned his camera off and oh. I popped mine off for a sec because I was looking through the video. Okay. Why don't we start with a few um few racket skills? Why don't you pick a couple of your favorite racket skills to show show off? Um, what do you mean? Like with a ball. Yeah. What can you do with a racket and a ball? Um, I, <laughs> I may need to go get a ball. Ah, go and get a ball then. Thanks. I'll be like two seconds. All right. <laughs> I'm back. So I'm, I'm not really sure. Like the, I don't really know too many different racket skills. Um, let's see. I'll try. I'll, I'll invent this. Wait. I'll Go try doing going around. Oh, around the world. That's a good one. It's always a good one. Far Louis, are you with us? Can you can you hear us? Um, yeah, but you're just keeping your video off. That's yeah, okay. Okay, mate. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. I'll use my spare ball. That ball went into the fire thing. Ooh. It's hard because when it goes too high, I'm afraid I'm going to hit this lamp. That's it. Just control it. Louis, why don't you go for a few uh, round the worlds as well? Okay. Ooh. Oh, God, I'm 10 there. Nice. Can you do a few forehand round the worlds? Oh, the other way, yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's that way. Oh, it is. Have you never tried this before, Adrian? No. Oh, I've never. Be... I've oh, done it a bunch of tennis, but different mm. balls. Hmm. That might be a good little area to explore today. Um, yeah. Louis, I'm not quite sure how to interact because I can't see what you're doing. Um, and I can't hear if you're um, you're able to do what we're doing. Like around the world, <laughs> you can't really tell how 
around yeah. the world every day. Yeah. Can you do a double round the world, Adrian? One, maybe. Let's try. Uh, I'll for that. Try again. That it looks incredibly hard, especially in this with the it tennis ball. It's fast. You kind of need to start really high and finish like close to the floor. Oh, I did. Catch I used to. Yeah. 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 No, nope. because I'm up here is the chandelier that if I hit, yeah, it's bad. Um, yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it back here. Do I? I did it once over there. Nice. Oh god. Oh, I think it's more about the feed than the actual than the actual shot. I have yeah. done it again. Well, actually, no, here, here is way easier. So close. Trying to swap or is it? There is one in here. Oh, oh yeah. I did it. I did it again. Nice, well done. Okay. What else should I try? I think we'll look, we'll chuck a couple in later on. Let's see if we can get hold of Louis and then start the session I had planned for today. Louis, are you there, mate? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, have I shown you guys a video of um, professionals, older professionals, as in kind of historic? No. Hitting balls out of the back. Oh, the, the four hands. Sorry? Four hands. I have. Oh, but no, four the two hand, the two foot plant ones. Say that again. Are you, talk are you talking about the two foot plants? Yeah, did I show you both yeah. videos? Um, I think. No, not the forehand one. All right, I'm, the gonna, I'm gonna show you the forehand one. Um, I'll show you that now and then we'll get to yeah. That. Okay, I think Rami Ashore might be one of the players actually. Your favorite player. Yeah. Yeah, forehand, slow motion. Okay. Cool. So we're just gonna have a little look at the technique here. And Open this up. And take away the funky music chart. Here we go. Loading the All right. Okay, so let's have a little look. So, David Palmer. Oh, that's satisfying. Nice. So you see the feet are nice and side on. Hasn't got one foot in front of the other there. He's stepping back with that front foot. Generally, it's always that front foot that steps out first. Yep, front foot. So this is left foot there. Plants nice and stable, really close together. Loading up. Knees are getting quite close together. And then coming back out. Peter Nickel. His forehand. Plant. And then that right leg comes out first. Looks like he's enjoying himself, doesn't he? Big smile on his face. Here we go, Rami Ashore. Oh, that's such a satisfying shot. Yeah. 
Wow. So that one so it looks the ball's a touch further behind him, so he's using adapting the racket face there a little bit. Yeah. Nice. So that one is turned a bit further around towards the back wall. You can see the feet are actually pointing towards the corner as opposed to yeah. being fully behind the ball. So the ball's a bit behind him on that one. That uh, looks very comfortable, doesn't it? Ooh. Very close together, two-footed plant, and then exploding back out with that left foot. Yeah. Is that, who's that he's playing against? Uh, let's have a look. Is it this clip? Is that, yeah. I'm not, I'm not sure, actually. Hmm. Looks like should be should, should oh this is our Shabana. Yeah, it is Shabana there. Yeah. Because oh. that's the same yeah. opponent. I feel like they took all the professionals and they're playing each other in these videos. Yes. And James Wolfstrop, let's have a look. Who's the best in the world right now? Ali Farag. And um, Mohamed El Shabag is number two. Yeah. In terms of rankings. So he's getting really low there. And Gaultier, one of the oh, almost a couple more. So there he's gone. That's not a two footed. That's yeah. Definitely one yeah. one footed lunge, balls behind him. Very diagonal approach, obviously. He looks quite relaxed there, though. But they're going into the corners, not rotating with the feet. So as you can see, yeah. there's lots of different ways that it can be done. Okay, Jonathan Power. Okay, nice rotation. So he gets back behind the ball, turns the toes, and then rotates out. Gets back, then turns, rotates the knee, nice and low. Good. Is that it? I'm not sure. Looks like that's it. Okay, cool. Stop. Cool. Um, so good little clips there for the, the two-footed plant in those back corners. So today's yeah. session, we have, um, we're playing from a physical perspective, we're playing with some pyramids. Um, we're also looking at, basically, we'll, we'll look at playing out of the back corners with different types of shots. So um, I think we'll practice a few different shots going into the back corner and coming out and how you might come out depending on the type of shot. So we're going to go for a straight drive for sure. So we can look at that. We're going to go for a, a cross-court lift for sure as well. And maybe we'll go for a hard cross-court as well. We'll just think about the movement because the movement will be similar for the cross-courts, but perhaps a little bit different because you're thinking about avoiding your opponent that might then be coming back in to that back corner. Yeah. Um, so that's what that's the, that's the session plan. But should we continue with the theme of a bit of a pop quiz? I mean, it's Friday night. So that's I'm nice. always... I'm learning something new about how many million years ago the T-Rex was around and all sorts of things. Um, yeah. So let's get, a little, let's get a little question on the board to start with, shall we? Adrian? Hmm. It's quite hard. Uh, maybe... How long? It's up to you. How long what? You can take the whole question. How long ago was the, um, let's think, what's a good invention? How long ago was currency invented? Currency? Yeah. What kind of currency? I don't know, any currency. Okay. I like that question. I'm going to take it. Um, Louis, did you hear the question? Okay, 
if your if your mic is a bit difficult, feel free to type your answer into the chat. But you don't need to answer it straight away because we're gonna get let's get warmed up. But I like I really like that question, Adrian, and um, I know a reasonable amount about the answer, but I don't know I don't know the number of the answer, but I know about the answer. Um, okay. Bye bye. What did you say? Sorry, so we're going to get started with a warm up. So we don't have to Hello. answer the question yet. Yeah. Um, all right. So I've got this strange camera angle. So I think I'm going to ask you to guys to jump jump into a jog on the spot, guys. Jog on the spot. Okay, jog on the spot. Get the arms going. Very good. Let's get the knees up as well. Nice high knees. Good, then into some star jumps. Good, back into some jogging, maybe some heel flicks, so kicking your bum. That's good. Okay, and then let's go in for some six, six squats. Six squats. So let's squat down. Yeah, that's good. Five and six. Then gentle jog and a forward lunge with the right leg, gentle jog, forward lunge with the left leg. Okay. Good, a few more of those. Good, let's go press up position guys. So that press up position, we're gonna rotate one arm round and then rotate the other arm round. Okay, so in the press up position, right. we take one arm off the floor and then we take the other arm off the floor. Okay. So down into the press up position. Okay. Yeah. Good. Good. Okay, and stop there, lovely. All right, let's go into a bit of footwork. Um, I'm gonna adjust my camera angle and, and stuff so that you can see me, but let's go straight into our lateral movement. So we go one, two, three, one, two, three, that lateral movement to, to okay. begin with. So I'm gonna move this out of the way. Let's have a look down here. Okay, cool. Should, should be able to say one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, nice and relaxed. But when we're going through this one, Adrian and, and Louis, today, normally we kind of think to stay about, stay on the balls of our feet. What I want you to think about is actually getting the heel, when you step to the side, get the heel down this time. So you're actually pushing up, one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's so get the heel down when you go to the sides. One, two, three, one, two, three. That sideways movement. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three. Really good. Sorry, heel first or just at the same time? At the, at the same time, because it's a lateral movement. If it was a, a forward or a, if you're leading kind of with the toe, if you were turning and lunging to the side, I would say heel toe. Because you're actually planting it laterally like that, then it's kind of both at the same time. For every other lunge that we do in squash, it's oh. kind of heel, heel toe as we turn and step but because it's this one's a kind of separate type of movement, it's pushing off. It's like a squat. Yeah. Nice. Good. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay. I'm going to introduce a new one that we haven't done before. Um, can you see my feet? Okay, Adrian. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. 
Okay, cool. So we're going to go for a diagonal movement here. Yep. We're going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So we're going to go. Sorry. Down. I'll keep going. My Wi Fi cut out. That's all right. Okay, so guys. I didn't one, hear what you two, said. Three, one, two, three. So as I step to the side, okay. the, the back knee is following the same one, two, three, the same angle. And then my shoulders as well. So get the shoulders to turn. Okay, so so kind of turning into it, into it this way. Left, two, three, two, three. I'll lift up my upper body a little bit, so you can see. So one, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. One. Two. Heel first or toe first? Uh, yeah, definitely heel first now, because you're going diagonally forwards. Heel in, and again, you can kind of think about now. Back it up. So go in, in. Nice little shuffle in, down. Okay, good guys. How are you finding that, Louis? Good. Okay. Good. Okay, cool. Stop there. Well done. All right. Now we are going to look at that stuff in the back corners, but let's go into a physical pyramid first. So the physical pyramid that we're going to do is uh, we're going to do 15 seconds, 30, 45, 60, 45, 30, and 15. Each rung of the ladder, each time we change the length of time that we're doing an exercise for, we also change exercise. So the exercises that for a short period of time are the tough ones, and then it gets slightly easier as you go up and as we change it. So the first exercise is burpees. 15 seconds, oh. we're gonna smash out as many as we can. Second exercise, we're going for mountain climbers. Okay, so that's in that, I'll just show you again, that's in that press up position here, and we're throwing the knees in like this. Okay, yeah. the third exercise is going to be frog jumps. Okay, okay. Frog jumps. we're here, we're going to jump out to the side, hands come down, out to the side, and come down like that. Okay? Yeah. And then the fourth exercise, we're going for, let's see if we can do three star jumps, so three normal, two, three, then squat down, explode up for an explosive one, and then you go back into three star jumps, so three stars, one explosive, and you keep that rhythm going. Okay. All right, my Wi-Fi blank, like I couldn't hear my- Can you hear me now? Friends. So the last one there is three, three, three star jumps and, and one explosive yeah. star jump. Yeah, okay. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, Louis, are you happy? Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. All right. So you ready? I'm gonna yep. get the get the timer going. Fifteen seconds for your burpees. Starting in. And Louis, I know you like a little competition, and Adrian definitely likes a oh. competition. Um, we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna count the burpees as many as you can, but we're not gonna count it this time. We're gonna count it on the way down. So on the way out. So as many as you can in 15 seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Go, 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 as many as you can. Watch the lamp. Oh, I'm worried now. I'm gonna smash the um, chandelier if I go up too high. And stop there, guys. So I gave you a little bit longer there. Yeah. Now I'm going to give you some rest. And the second exercise, mountain climbers. Okay, so as we go up, you get slightly longer rest. So 15 seconds for the first one, rest, 30 seconds. So mountain climber position, let's go. Starting in three, two, one, let's go.
Really good. Keep it going. Last five seconds. And stop there. That's 30. Really good. Okay, next one's going to be the frog jumps. Um, what's the, um, the, what's it called? The, oh, wait, when are we doing a question? Oh, what's, when? Yeah, when are we doing the question? Let's answer it now, shall we? Okay. Who's going to go first? I'll go first. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll go first because I think I'm best placed to answer it but we'll see. Yeah. I'm going to say, Adrian. Mm -hmm. Four and a half thousand years ago. Hmm. Okay. Should I go next? Yes. I'm going to go five and a half thousand years ago. Okay. Louis? I'm going to go 5,000. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we're all pretty, com all pretty confident I'll with my long. guess then, are we? Okay, let's go. Um, let's go I'll for our frog today. jumps, guys. Frog jumps, 45 right. seconds. My Wi Fi stopped. What did he say? He said 5,000. What did he say? He said 5,000. Okay, frog uh, jumps in three. I said five and a half, two, right? One, let's go. Did I do five and a half? Good. You did do five and a half. Yeah, let's see if we got the answer. Can I change it to three? No changing, no. Okay. Oh! <laughs> yes! Oh, no. Come on! <laughs> oh, yes, no. buddy. I knew it was less. 15 I seconds. Just... Last 15 seconds. I'm pleased about this, I have to say. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, the answer for you guys. Currency of some type has been used in China since the Neolithic age, which can be traced back to between 3,000 and four and a half thousand years ago. Oh. So my answer was four and a half thousand. Yes, Louis. Well. Yes, you've got no your answer. objection. Why? Oh, but. Um, does that action... mean coinage? Huh? Does that mean coinage? Coinage? We said currency. No, I. I... Google turn. Or does that mean just like trading it, like I, maybe a basket no for dinner? I think yeah, it would still be some form of some form of coin though, Louis. Some universal. So basically I Googled Tra it. Trade it no would be like or, ten thousand years no ago. Go on, Adrian, sorry. No, it says no one for sure who first invented such money. But historians believe metal objects were first used as money as early as 5000 BC. I just, I, I searched I prefer, up how long I, ago I, was I, I prefer my answer because <laughs> that makes me the winner. Okay. Your answer makes uh, you the winner. <laughs> Mm, All right, maybe does. we'll call that we'll call that the practice round if we found different answers. But um, it came like trade came about from yep. different tribes having different things, right? So whether they have fish or whether they've gathered some berries and whatever they might have, wild boar, um, or then within a community they start people get get they got good at either making or preparing things or hunting or and they focused on their one thing instead of having to do 20 different things like we don't yeah. have to do today right we just do one thing and then we use that thing that we earn money for to buy everything um yeah. because some people are more efficient at doing it than others and that's where the trade comes in and then currency um okay uh,
let's have another question. Louis, do you have a question before we go into our... I mean, you're getting way too much rest on this physical circuit. Louis, do you have a question for us? Louis? I'm thinking... If you don't have a question, we're going straight into our next exercise. So just say that. Let's go. Stars and explosives. So three stars, one explosive, starting in three, two, one, 60 seconds. Let's go. Let me see if I can get a good question for us. Let's see if I can get a good question. Good guys. Nice big explosive star jump at the end there. Good. Last 10 seconds, guys. Keep it going. And stop there. Well done. Good. Uh, Louis, have you got uh, a question? Uh, I've got a question. How many times yeah. stronger than the average male is a silver backed gorilla? That just sounds like you Googled. I haven't Googled anything. I'm about to when I've said my answer. Where did you get but that how many question? times stronger? Where did, you get Where did I get it? Yeah. I just thought of it because I know that they're, they're many times stronger, but I didn't know how many, and I'm curious. Okay. I'm going to go. Oh, do we, do we answer? Uh, yeah, I went first last time, so you can go first this time. Louis can go first next time. Okay. I'm going to go five times stronger. Okay. Louis? Seven times strong. Oh. Ah, uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to say four and a half times stronger. Okay, guys, that's your minute's rest. So get ready for your uh, 45 second exercise. Frog jump starting in three, two, oh, no. one. Let's go. This is the worst exercise. Ooh. Wow. How much? What? What is it like 45? Well, I don't really know. Mm. There's a very big range. It's like from this number to that number, and it's a very large range, which includes all of our numbers. <laughs> oh, yeah. We all get a point. Yeah, we all get a point. And stop there. Good. Oh, yeah. Um, oh. Mountain climbers. So it's between four oh. and nine times stronger. Uh, I put five. You did. I put four and a half. And Lou put seven, so we're all, uh, we're all right. I got my huh? question. The medium vote wins, sir. Which would be Louis. Well, okay, let's have a question from you, Louis. Let's have a question, then we're going into the mountain climbers. How many species of animals, including humans, can get... Can what? I don't know if we're gonna, I think that's why I died. I don't My know if we're going to get the answer to that one. What was the question? 
It was how many species of animal and humans. Well, I mean, you said human. How many species of human are there? Um, one, including her. humans. Including humans. So we'll get we'll figure out the answer and add one to it, shall we? <laughs> um, I don't think we're going to get the answer to that. Um, let's go straight into the mountain climbers. I'd like another question, please, Louis. Happy for it to be COVID related. Starting in three, two, one. Mountain climbers. Let's go. Another 10 seconds. And stop there, guys. Stop there. Good. Let's have another go, Louis. Uh, I'm tired. We've got 15 seconds of burpees coming up. This is a competition. Oh, no. Ah. Uh, um. Uh, Louis? I'm thinking. Hmm. How many species of trees are there in the whole world? I don't like questions like this because I've got no idea. <laughs> we'll yeah. take it. We'll take it. Neither. Um, and Louis, you have to answer this question first as well, but let's answer it after the burpees, okay? So get yourselves ready. Count as many as you can, 15 seconds, starting in three, two, one, go. As many as you can. As many as you can. He's not even doing them. You, you can't see where he is. He must be off screen. Stop, stop there, stop, 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 stop. That was 15 seconds. How many, please, Adrian? Eight. Eight, very good. Louis? Seven. Seven. Good work. Okay, let's have your answer, Louis, please. Uh, 20,000. Hmm. 20,000 species of tree. I'll go next. Tree. I'll go, I'll go. Go on, I'll, I'll go 25,000. I'll go 30,000. 30,000, all right. I like having the gap. Like, I like being on the edges because then you have the most room for opportunity. Yeah. So going last is pretty helpful. Oh, we're finished, aren't we? Oh, wow. How many? Uh, well, I think we're, the answer is we're all wrong. There's more than 60,000. We're all wrong, but... Yes, but you're closer. <gasps> By a very small margin. <laughs> By now. a very small margin, you're I closer. Could have gone, I could have gone 30, no, 25,000 and one. And... Yeah, we should have... Well, that would have been okay, wouldn't it? Yeah. It still would have been. Um, good, okay, so... Um, well, that's let's... Let's have a look at this movement in the back corners and then we'll go into the next pyramid. Do you have a question, Adrian, for us to yeah. think about? What I realized is why would I go like 20, 30,000 when like statistically I should always go 25,001? Because if you're assuming it's more, you don't want to give them opportunity to get in between. Agreed. But it's also better to be closer to being right than just being a winner so you should also guess what you actually think it is so that you can actually get closer to the right answer yeah in my view um i do this with the kids and jet and they like uh they do that all the time they're like oh what did you say One hundred fifty thousand. well i'll say one hundred fifty thousand and one then yeah and then the next person says well, I'll say 149,999, so you can never win. <laughs> 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 so, don't do that. And um, then the answer is 100,000. Huh? 
I didn't hear that. No, basically, they all like they all just go slowly run away from you, and then the <laughs> monster is your, is your it's and then it's your answer on the dot, and it's just like them. All right. Yeah, it's annoying. Um, what about something like this? What about a, a maths question, which none of us will know the answer to, okay. but we could have a have a guess. What are the odds of flipping a coin and it landing yeah. on heads ten times in a row? You can't oh. think about the maths behind it. I'm not allowed to think of the maths. No, just what is the probability? It's a quick fire question, Adrian. Wait, already? Yeah, go. No, I, I need to calculate. No, I you know can't calculate it. it. it, it it's so one out of mm. or zero point. What do you think? Oh, um, one in a thousand. Okay. Because if you think about it, it's um nine nine or ten. I don't want to think about it. That's the point, okay. Louis. What do you think? One in a thousand. Um, 23. One in a thousand and twenty-three. Okay. Let me see. What is it? I don't know. I'm gonna say one in nine hundred. Mm. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get the answer now. Um no, okay. it's roughly one in a thousand, I think. Yeah. Yeah, because if you multiply it ten times, should be it should be. Ugh. What was it? What was it? Louis. Yep. Do you know the answer to this question? No. The answer to this question, Louis is one in 1024 mm. and you said are you serious one i'm serious and you said one in 1023 no i actually didn't know it's just That's... i wanted to be close enough to adrian a bit for a bit <laughs> further up adrian <laughs> doesn't believe you Adrian doesn't believe you at all. <laughs> to be honest, I if I was gonna guess randomly, I'd still I'd go to one thousand twenty four if I was going that region, because if you multiply all that many times, you're gonna get even. Yeah. Okay, well done. Yeah. Very well done, guys. The guy with the maths degree was furthest away. I know. <laughs> yeah. Well I... done. Okay, so let's look at this movement out of the back corners. Um, I'll try and show you with this 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 uh, camera angle. It's not fantastic, but it will do. So what we're going to do is have a little look at those those two footed plants where you maybe have your left foot, right foot, then this foot comes out or it's your right foot, left foot, but then generally this left foot comes out. So I want you to, to think about what we've done before, where you're going to play a cross court lift. So you're getting low here. This foot comes up. So I'm looking at the forehand here. Lifts out. We're going to throw that leg because I'm, I'm playing a cross court lift. I'm throwing this leg out and I'm recovering straight to the team, perhaps coming up over onto my backhand side here so i lift that up and perhaps looking for the volley from where my opponent plays their next shot so the footwork there is getting down into this back right really kind of crouched as they were the knee comes in as i'm about to play and then we're throwing that leg out first just literally yeah. throwing it straight out and taking the space because that's the cross court lift because no one's in your way and now now the second one to that is the straight drive where you're getting down low, maybe you're stepping back out and then turning because your opponent's going to be coming in. You need to step, play, follow through, but actually you step 
this left foot comes out, out back first, and then you turn because you're trying to navigate your opponent who's right here. So come back and then through and then in, back and then through. Then you might come a bit more direct here, back out and then through. So just have a little look. Try about 10 shots playing a, a cross court lift from the back corner there, throwing that leg out. And then play 10 shots playing a straight drive, but imagining that you're kind of diverting a little bit to avoid your opponent on the way in to the shot in the back right. Okay. But, um, let's go, let's go for that now. I don't have enough space to swing my racket. No, that's okay. I, I was just using my hands, so that's fine. Okay. And again, we find ourselves in need of a question. Are you doing the backhand corner, mate? Just do the forehand. Just do the forehand, Adrian. Yeah. So which one are you doing? Which shot are you playing? Um, straight drive. Straight drive, okay. Can you bring your camera down so I can look at your footwork, please? Check. Thank you. Good. So that left foot's coming out first. So you don't want to stay too upright. You want to come back, step back out with that left and recover up. Good. Okay. So let's see the cross court now. So we're going to get low and we're going to throw that left leg out as far and as fast as you can. Left leg comes out. So you recover some ground straight to the T. Good. Nice. Good. Okay, cool. So now let's look at it on the on the backhand side and just look at those two dif differing movements. So just show you the movement here. So as I'm coming into this back corner, Maybe my left foot's in front, maybe my right. But if I'm playing that cross court, then I'm throwing that right leg out first. So the first thing, come here, I'm throwing that right leg out to explosively get back to the tee. And then my racket comes up onto my forehand, maybe looking for the volley. So I'll play the cross court lift, and then I'm trying to hold the tee, watch what my opponent's going to do and play my next shot. And then the straight drive is getting into that position, planting here, maybe it's out and then back and round. So getting in here, this right leg comes out first. Generally, that front leg, so it was out there. And you can mix it up again to think about, obviously we had uh, Gaultier there who was kind of stepping in and getting the ball behind, or behind here, but that's less of a book. But think a bit more about perhaps that two-footed throw out, right leg comes back first. So as you come in, it's there, step back, and then round your opponent as you recover a little bit to the T. So let's just do 10 of those for each shot in the back left, and then we'll do our next pyramid. That's a bit hard. I may put the iPad over here. Have more space to give back. Sorry? It, it's all right. I just needed to readjust my camera. Okay, so that looks like you're going straight in and taking all the space. Try and step back a little bit. So as you take your right foot, bring it back towards the center of the court. Down. Good. Louis, how are you doing? So there, Adrian, your both feet look like they're coming out at the same sort of angle. Can you bring the right foot back a little bit 
as if to avoid your opponent that's coming in. Good. Yeah. That's it. As you play. Try and get that timing right. Yeah, that's nice. It moves the movement a little bit better. Give some space for that opponent to jump in. Nice. Okay, we need a question, boys. Mm. I realized I did the math last time completely wrong. It wasn't nine to nine to the tenth. Oh, it was. Wait. Oh yeah. Wait. Of not of flipping head. Oh gosh. Oh no. What? It's flipping a coin. For some reason, I thought it was rolling a ten-sided dice. <laughs> if it was a ten-sided dice, it would have been like one in a hundred thousand, or or it yeah. would, well, I guess it's ten thousand, perhaps. I, I thought it, I thought it's not rolling um a one. Oh. Ten times. No, I'm not sure what I thought, but so, so the, I, there's definitely nine. Nine tenths, which meant I was thinking of something ten sided. Yeah, well, the answer yeah. is zero point five to the power of ten, isn't it? Yeah. It's a I, I, I was Three, being really dumb. Somehow, I that's what happens when I do quick calculations. But it worked. Luckily, it got relatively close. Yeah, I just did it on the camera. It is what one in one thousand and twenty-four. Um, okay, let's yeah. go on to the next pyramid. So, uh, the next pyramid, the first exercise for fifteen seconds is just explosive star jumps. So, explosive star jumps for fifteen oh. seconds. Exercise number two, yeah. we're going to do some big jumps. So, some big side jumps, two-footed jumps, side to side. Yeah. You can have a second or two in between each jump because they want them to be big ones, and some forward and backward ones. So, you can mix it up between sideways jumps and forward and backwards jumps. Yeah. Exercise number three ask is, is going to be ski hops. So doing 45 seconds Fine. of starting here. I think we did this last week, but we're now using it as part of the exercise program. Now try and get some distance. Try and really throw it over. And to make it a bit harder, what you can do is kind of go down into a one-legged squat here on the leg and then explode up, balance yourself. Yeah. So take a second or two to balance and then squat down on that one leg and explode up over onto the other okay. side, okay? And then the 60 second exercise is five seconds jogging on the spot or running on the spot and then you drop down, lie flat on your stomach, jump back up again and back into five seconds. The minute one. Yeah, okay. that's for the minute, okay? Yeah. Louis, are you happy? Yeah. yeah. Good man. All right, well, let's get going with those explosive star jumps. Starting in three, two, one, go. 15 seconds. Good. Stop there. Stop there. Well done. Thanks. Oh, I'm going to sit down. For these 15 seconds. Next, do we have Okay, next one, we're going for those jumps side to side, forward, backwards, starting in three, two, one. Let's go 30 seconds. That's it. Oh, one, two seconds. Yeah, that's good. And stop there, that's 30. Good, so we have 30 seconds rest. I'm gonna keep it strict this time because we've got lots of rest in between these little circuits. So, um, do we have a question from anyone? Um, 10, se 
10 seconds before in the ski hops. How many? These are puzzles for me. How many um, iPads are sold per year? Okay, starting in two, one, ski hops. Well, not per year. It has to be like last year, for example. Okay. Okay, now how many iPads were sold in 2020? We'll see, well, they might not calculate it that way, but we can get a ballpark figure. Good. Keep it going, guys. Almost there. Two, one, and rest. Good. Uh, I think it's my turn to answer first. Yeah. I'm going to say... Four hundred trillion? No. This is how many iPads are sold? Yeah. I'm going to say 200,000. Hmm. What's Louis going? Louis? Three million. Three okay. million? Three million? And yeah, that's what one. I said. Three million and one. <laughs> you think the answer is more than that? Three million and one. I bet I bet it's like somewhere a bit more, maybe like four million, but oh for I gosh. I don't want him to get the opportunity to get him. Oh, I didn't know it was that many. That's loads. Do I win? Well, only like during the third quarter of 2020. Yeah. Only yeah. the third quarter. So in a quarter of the year, they shipped 14 million tablets. So we're looking at 60 million. Oh my god. Which means Adrian, you win, but again, only just because everyone was really wrong. Three million and one. Okay, that top exercise. We're jogging and dropping to the floor. Five seconds. Starting in three, two, one. Let's go. Five, four. Get the knees up. Three, two, one, and down. Straight back up. And five, four, three, two. One and down and up and five, four, three, two, one and down and up and five, four, three, two, one and down. Oh. Go and it's five, four, come on. Three is a tough one. Two, it's one deep. and down. Straight back up. And five, four, three, two, one, and down. And five, four, three, two, one, and down. And stop there. Well done. Uh, uh, Tough one, isn't it? That I could see it as being the 32nd one. You could, yeah, that's quite a tough one, isn't it? May I get some water, please? Uh, you have 30 seconds. Okay. Yes, you may. Louis, do you have a question for us? Louis, no? Finished. Okay, so let's get those ski hops ready in three, two, one, let's go. I think these would be easier for a minute. You could be jumping further than that, couldn't you? And you could do a little squat down. I could. Blow it up. That's it. Pouches next to me. So you don't. 
I squat down and. Whew. Okay, take that back. He's going to be the minute one. <laughs> Good, doing well. 10 seconds left. I think at this stage you've you've got you've won so many of these points and these questions. We need a winner takes all. And stop there. Oh. Oh. Louis, can you help us on a winner takes all question? How many people in total have ever died in a war? Have ever died in a war? There were like ancient battles, weren't there? Yes. Yep. Um, okay. Uh, I would like to go second on this one. I think it's your turn to go first, Louis. One billion. Sorry, 50 million. That was very different answers. 15 no. million. No. Two. 500 million. All right, that's your final answer. No more changes. Wait, and you wanted to go second? Hmm. I'll go... I'm going to go 450 million. I'm going to go 500 million and one. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, let's go next exercise. 30 seconds of jumps. Oh no, wait, which jumps? Okay. Side to side and forward backwards, starting in three, two, one, go. Keep it going. Last five seconds. And stop there. Okay, equally, another little competition on these explosive star jumps. So as many as you can in those 15 seconds. Uh, I would say you want to be getting about three, maybe four more than your burpees. Okay, we'll get that going in 10 seconds. I've got the answer here. Okay. Um, and again, I'm afraid it's a range. So it's kind of everyone gets a point. It's between yeah. 150 million and 1 billion. Oh, Depending cool. on what you define as you die because of a war, because there are obviously many other factors involved in war, like disease. If we're taking, if we're taking the average or the middle in the we aren't we probably wouldn't we probably oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at my we'd probably just take 150 million and and, and call me the winner <laughs> of that one no <laughs> <laughs> okay 15 seconds of explosive star jumps but to be honest um, there's more room on my side is there yeah only marks get set go 15 seconds, many as you can. Stop there. Might have given you an extra three or four seconds there. Sorry about that. Okay. How many? 19. Louis? 20. Oh, that's a draw then. One each. Very good. Um, and we still, we're still in need of a final question because that one was, uh, it, it was, uh, no one won that one. Yeah. How can we think of a question? Which, what do we fancy? I know how many, how many down 
Go on. Yeah. I was going to say, how many secondary schools are there in the UK? Oh, cool. I'm going to take a guess. Okay. I'll go first. I'll go first. Um, okay. But let's go whilst we're let's guess whilst we're doing a bit of movement because we'll finish with a bit of footwork. So let's go with our lateral lateral movement footwork. Okay, side to side. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's get into that again. Okay, my guess. Yeah. My guess. Let's have a let's do your footwork. Are you doing your footwork, Adrian? Oh wait, what footwork? Yeah, lateral movement, side to side. Okay. One, two, three, one, two, three. Because we've only got a couple of minutes, let's keep it moving. I'm going to say 44,000. 44,000. Yeah. Can you repeat the question, please? The question is, how many secondary schools are there in the UK? Answers, please. Adrian, you're next. Mm, 44,000. I'm going to go 5,000. Louis. 4,000. Oh, what? Do you guys know the answer to this question? Me? Yeah. No. Me? No. Why am I so wrong? Because you are. <laughs> Maybe you're thinking about in the whole world. I don't, oh, think, I don't think there's enough space in um, the UK 40... to have 44,000 secondary schools. Oh. Uh. That's so many schools. <laughs> no, yeah, that was a bad. I didn't even think about the maths. That's only a hundred people per school, isn't it? That's quite a lot. Rather than a thousand, silly boy, silly boy. Um, okay, stop there, guys. Really well done. How many um, were there? How many? The answer, Louis, you win because it's around four thousand. Well done. Um. Oh. And uh, Adrian, you are a lot closer to what, with 5,000. Have a fantastic okay. weekend and week, guys. I'll see you Thanks. next week, okay? Bye. Well done, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.